And the player introductions are wrapped up. The starting fives for both teams. As we're just about ready to get this one started. And hello again, everyone. Welcome to our Saturday afternoon edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brett Beer. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sideline. D.A., take it away. Hey, Kevin. Trey Young said when he was growing up, he was never a big leaper or a dunker. Truth be told, he said, I wasn't even considered a top guard in my recruiting class. But I worked relentlessly and played with a chip on my shoulder. I wanted to be considered among the great players. I wanted to belong. Kevin, he certainly belongs with the Hawks right now. Thanks, D.A. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. Hunter at the three with Collins at the four. Young is out there with Bogdanovich. And it's Capella in at the five down low. And for the Hornets, Terry Rozier is out there with Ball. And it's Hayward. Then there's P.J. Washington. And it's Plumley in at the five. Tonight, lots of youth and energy on the floor. Brent, what kind of game do you expect to see? Highlights, Kevin, mixed in with a few lowlights. Uh, just guys getting ahead of themselves and speeding themselves up. But sometimes those can be exciting, especially for, for fans who have really good seats. Keep your hands up. Now, here is Young. Who's watching here? Yo, yo, right here, right here. Let's hit five from 18. Plumley with the rebound. Well, Mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Hayward outside. Kicks the ball. Passes it to Rogier. Just five on the clock. From the line. Like the defensive effort from Young there, he gave it all and was rewarded with the miss. And talk about playing small. Last year, Charlotte had Rozier and Devontae Graham on the floor together for much of the time. Both players right around 6'1". But you know what? They held their own. When he's hitting that shot, this offense becomes scary, even more difficult to defend. Yeah, no question. He is connecting from those kind of spots on the floor. It is just a huge boost for what they can do offensively. This is his first free throw of the game. And he knocks down the first one. You know, and every year, it just seems like Rozier gets better. You see his drive, the hunger, the desire to keep improving. Just solid. Really, one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Now the pass to Hayward. Charity strike shot. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. They time it right. They can end this quarter with a two for one. And that's how you want to end the quarter. Well, Bogdanovich, we saw a little bit of this during the All-Star weekend. He can play with a little bit of flair. And you know he's confident when he starts to show those signs. Here's Rozier. 30 seconds left to play in the first. Let's the three fly. And the Hornets miss again. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. A big man John Collins seeing the court that time. For Charlotte, they've gone 0 of 3 from the field to start the game. Young with the steal. Dishes to Bogdanovich. Patton coming off the assist from Young. And right now, they're just focused on putting together good possession. That's exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots, knocked them down, and the game is fully in their control. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They've set the tone. They love their tempo. They're going to be very tough to stop. Right back after this break. you've enjoyed the broadcast so far halfway through the first half in this one well from what you guys are seeing from the Hawks what are you thinking about their performance well the coaches preach ball movement and we saw exactly why in that first quarter well, everybody just feeling the energy of the basketball as they moved it around and lots of hands were touching it.
Jones is out there with Bridges. Then there's B, and there's Bismack Biombo, and it's Oubre in at the two. So that's who Charlotte starts the second with. I could see that that contact really didn't bother Oubre Jr. on that position. And the self-described Tsunami Poppy. Kelly Oubre used to call himself the Wave, but as he grows, so too does the nickname. Well, the Wave for him is a metaphor for his life's approach. The way that you put out coming back. And Kelly Oubre is the kind of guy who's looking to attack with force and fury. So that kind of ebb and flow is helping out his NBA career. And I like the back and forth here, showing confidence from Reigns. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Young, no good. And so it's Oubre with it. He brings it up for the Hornets. It's a five-point game. Oubre does a great job there. Finds an avenue, slinks his way in there, and then jumps over the top. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. Now, here is Young. Defense right on him. And that's a foul called on Kelly Oubre. That is his first foul. Balls checked in for B. Fifty-one seconds left in the first half. And what was once a weakness for Collins, now a strength. His defense has taken huge strides since the start of last season. And I think a, a young player like John Collins learns that blocks are not just a statistic that reveal how good you can be defensively. It's about positioning. It's about communication. And John Collins wants to be more complete on that end of the floor. Plumley is checked in for Charlotte. Washington comes in for Jones. They can trade two for one here. Would be the right move, I believe, right now. Capella and the dunk by Capella. Uh, well, we know that Trey Young is a phenomenal passer, which is why you just can't leave him open like that. Ball from long range. That one, no good. And Atlanta will go the other way. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Capella finds Young. the right side. Six to shoot. Atlanta needs to get off a shot here. Collins, good. Collins has got four points now in the quarter. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. I, I love the fact that Bridges does a little bit of everything, including passing the ball. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. It's Atlanta leading by four. We'll be back shortly live from Spectrum Center. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. And the first few years of Trey Young's career have been fantastic. Bucks fans love the guy. Shaq, is he a star that you can build around? I say you have to be a special talent to be a franchise player and guard. But that said, very, very special. A yeah. little, little bit of Allen Iverson and Steph Curry. It, yes, I, I, I would agree. We, we knew he would be able to score, but his playmaking is what probably surprised him a little bit more. Uh, he's got a long road ahead, but he's on the right path. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Without question, Trey Young displaying his skills today. Yeah, there is no stopping him, and you can't even contain him at this point. He is that talented. Yeah, I don't know if you have enough game plans to slow him down. How do you guard a guy that good? And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. On the court right now for the Hawks, 
Hunter at the three with Collins at the four. Bogdanovich out there with Trey Young. And it's Capella in at the center, filling out the middle. Teams have dynasties. The 90s, Michael Jordan. We've seen it over the many decades. Over the next decade, though, who do you think is going to lead the pack there? Ooh, that's a great question. You know, with the way Father Time is treating Le Le LeBron, you, you might have to wait and see because he is still playing at such a high level. But, you know, obviously Giannis has got to be on the short list with the Bucs. Uh, for me, I, I really look at Luka in, in Dallas. I, I just feel like with... Christoph uh, Porzingis, that that duo could just be deadly with how the game is played. But don't sleep on the Celtics with Tatum and Brown and that group that they have with the front office they have. Man, I think the league overall is going to be in great shape moving forward. It sure seems that way. Looking at who's out there now for the Hornets. Biambo comes in for Mason Plumlee. And Jones subbed in for Washington. And it's put back up and in by Capella. Capella's got his second bucket of the night. Just has a nose for the ball. Capella skilled at gaining ideal position for those offensive rebounds. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through their high basketball IQ play. Young, good. Young's got seven points. We'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. Miles Bridges, he's checked in for Jones. That's good from Ball. There's 45 seconds left to play in the third. Ball against Young. With the tip. And it's put back up and in by Capella. He's got six. I uh, love the determination he showed there. Getting himself into good position under the glass. With the presence of mind to know just where the rebound was going to come down. Well timed. Nice delivery there. You can't hesitate when a man comes free on the perimeter. He got it, went right into the shot. And so Young will bring it up for the Hawks. Trailing by two. And the dunk by Capella. And how about his athleticism for a big man? Capella is able to make plays above the rim. Bridges. And it's slammed in by Bridges. And he shows us all what the breakaway rim was invented for. Can you believe he almost brought the whole thing down by hanging on that long? Young's shot is good. Ties it up with that one. You know, he's such a smart scorer. He doesn't force anything. Let's the opportunities come to him. And Ball gets it to go on the assist by Hayward. Hayward's got three assists now in this one. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. Hornets lead by two. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. the game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure packed basketball you've got Rogier Washington out there with Plumlee then there's Miles Bridges and it's Ball in at the point so that's the lineup for Charlotte showing good shot blocking skills at times Plumlee gets all of that one Rogier for three rebound by the Hawks and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Young, good. Cutting into that deficit. Now 
well within striking distance. Yeah, just much sharper out there. You can see guys getting in tune. It's not about playing harder. Sometimes it's just about playing smarter. And that's about the worst defense I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. Well, I hope there's one player on that team out there that has interest in winning this game. Right now, it doesn't look to be one. They get the rebound. Count that one. A, a big who lives inside. Capella knows he's a center. He knows he makes his living off scoring close in against that good beat. Wasted no time on that one. Rozier's got the lead up to three now for Charlotte. He's a guy that lives for a big moment like that. Great focus and courage in the clutch. For Atlanta, they've gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. Here's Young. Here's Capella. That's in coming off the assist from Young. Capella's got 10 points in just the second half. Rozier finds Washington. Now Bridges from outside the arc. Places one from three. Whoa, the nerves on this guy. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up enough. Time call here. They're trailing by four. There's 47 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now, let's take a look at the new balance player of the game. LaMelo Ball. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. And that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Well, Nate McMillan had some advice for the team during that last break. He talked about X's and O's, but he also said, hey, guys, we got to trust each other, stick together, and leave it all out on the floor. We'll see if they've got enough left to get over the top. Buddy. Okay, David, much appreciated. As Rozier, it counts. You can't afford these defensive breakdowns, especially down the stretch. Yeah, breakdowns like this are only going to hurt you moving forward and late in the game. Establish some trust and make the defense come together. Young for three. It's in! A tremendous three to tie it up. And this young guy relishes the pressure, stepping up there, confident in the clutch. And the Hornets call time here. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth. And here are the Hornets now. Rozier up top. He's covered by Bogdanovich. And Bogdanovich picks up the foul. That's his first foul. And the Hornets call time here. Seconds left to play in the final quarter. Rozier, Washington, ooh, off line. Really, uh, the right play defensively if you can't block, force them to the line. So the first one drops, and that gives them the lead. And so both free throws are good, and it's a two-point ball game. Well, that's just clutch work, really. That's all you can say. A little bit of D now, and they'll be out of here with the win. Knocks down the three ball. Bottom line, you need shooters on your team who can space the floor. Oh, there's no doubt he's a legitimate threat from downtown, and he's demonstrating that in this game. And so it's the Hawks who come out on top. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And, Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thanks. Trey, leadership is such a key part of that point guard position, so what do you focus on with that? I'm a big guy and good in team chemistry, so any, any chance I can, go bowling, hang out with these guys, build chemistry, and uh, I think that's where it starts without the court, because that translates on. Yeah, you guys look like a tight-knit group right now, man. Congrats on the win. Kevin? All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. 
So for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.